We also do whatever it takes to stop them. I said one thing when President um, um, Danado made the statement, and I think um, the other guy, um, is it McMenu? If it's not McMenu, you should forgive me, but one said, no, Lokomi. Okay. I think when they said they will not hand over power to any other political party, if not the MPP, then I said that that is a coup d'etat. As a president, I think it was careless and reckless to have said that. At that time, he had not even finished forming his government. He's the first president of the Fourth Republic who took him up to November somewhere to finish his MMDC, which I had an issue with him. Because out of 216 or more, he only nominated 38 women, representing about 14 or whatever percent. And I wasn't surprised because he went to Vancouver and talked us down said we were not there yet as Ghanaian women. He's not seen enough activism and dynamism for him to even look at us. And that is not about representation. It's about leadership for political parties and the nation, which I think that it was an opportunity for the president to you know, showcase Ghanaian women at a time where the Charlotte was say that he took petition from some ghost and turned himself to a conveyor belt and got her sacked was getting international appointment, Hannah Tete is getting international appointment, and, and uh, there were other opportunities for women within his political party and others. At a time where uh, uh, the chief of staff is a woman, we are telling the whole world that she was just there representing, so that she can't lead. But okay. he replaced Charlotte with another woman. Please, that woman, just as he said, is just a representation, and I take his words. I don't think that he believes in the leadership of women. President Nanado doesn't. But we still see some women in government. They are just representation. So you, so you are saying that no, the that's men what are he doing said. What? That's what he said. I didn't say it. There was no gun to the head of our president. He embarrassed us. And he refused to apologize to the women. He talked us down on a big, very huge international agenda platform, Women Deliver Vancouver 2019. We held a press conference about that. I think that, you see, if it had been John Drama and Mahama, it just hasn't been Drama. So when he said that, that we're not going to give up uh, to any other political party, then he had admitted, even before starting his full um, 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 com complement of his of, uh, government, that they've lost elections and they don't have power. We are telling him, and those who think alike, that we shall take that which belongs to us. 